Week in, week out, it's always a movie on social media. But when it comes to the latest trends from across the African continent, I got you. Welcome to NC Trends. I am Shul Bankali. So it seems like the drama between Canada-based Nigerian singer Stephanie Otobo and Apostle Johnson Suleiman is far from over. In a series of tweets posted earlier today, the singer shared photos of their video chats as she rolled out allegations that a cleric poisoned and also tried to kill her. Now, for those who do not remember, Stephanie and Suleiman were first in the news in 2017 when the singer sued the preacher for a sexual harassment. And now, five years later in 2022, she shared a picture of his supposed sexual organ, asking questions like, Oracle of God, can you deny this? Your fingernail and the scar on your left thigh. Also defending her post, she wrote, If these screenshots were fake, how did I get his pictures and how come I'm the first person to release this kind of pics of him? He has changed his hairstyle twice since I came out to speak up his receipt. He did everything to stop my music career. He was scared that I will be influential. And she went on and on and on. Of course, this has generated numerous reactions from social media users. Let's see a few. At the Michael says, Apostle Suleiman has two months sexual scandals to be leading thousands of people to God. It is now a thing of two months interval, talking about how he has scandals every now and then. And then homeboy pack, he says, so Apostle Suleiman is being dragged for consensual and probably paid sex. I don't understand, though. What did he do wrong? That is why we pray for forgiveness. That is why there is grace. So far, he did not rape anybody. He is good. That's what Pag says. I don't know what he's talking about. And the Nigerian atheist says, this thread on Apostle Suleiman is very disturbing. The police should investigate the threats to the lady's life and people should stop harassing her. The protection on men of God at all costs to the detriment of their victims is why they get away with all kinds of atrocities. Over to South Africa now, singer Kelly Kumalo and her ex-boyfriend Job Job's son, Christian Kumalo, has allegedly gotten himself into trouble at school. Reports have it that the 12-year-old boy was expelled after he brought marijuana to the school premises, which is purported to have stolen from his mother's rumored boyfriend, former soccer player Mthokozisi Yende. Now, the news was met with a number of reactions from social media users who have shared their thoughts on why Christian Kumalo is getting himself into trouble at school with marijuana. Gates B says, if Job Job is serious, now is a good window to take his son from the mom. I don't know if that's the solution to the problem, but that's their take. And Chissy says, one day the boy will be old enough and see what his mom is doing or did to his relationship with his dad and the hate that boy will have for his mother. <sighs> Let's hope it's won't be too late and his father will still be alive. Okay. Black and Blessed at Mama Bridgie says, Kelly has failed as a good role model for her kids. Her kids go through so much because of her lifestyle and the caliber of people she introduces to them. Worse, the kids seem to see and hear everything. Bad parenting, no doubt. And that's what some South Africans have had to say about that. And we go back to Nigeria, where the Academic Staff Union of Universities has rolled over its ongoing strike for another 12 weeks, effective from 12 a.m. May 9, 2022. The statement signed by ASU President Professor Emmanuel Oshodeke said this was to give the government enough time to satisfactorily resolve all the outstanding issues. Now, reacting to this extension of the strike, some students of the University of Lagos took to the streets on Monday to protest the ongoing strike. The students carried placards which read, We are tired of FG and ASU face off. Strike has killed our educational system. We need to go back to school. Age no day by my side, which means I'm not getting younger, and so on. Aggrieved Nigerian students have been talking about this online since morning. Let's now take to Twitter to check out some posts. Brown says, why is the only Unilag students that are protesting? Why not all the affected schools? If all schools affected come out in mass and block the federal roads just for one day, this issue will be resolved. I don't know if that's a solution, but you know, you might just try it. I didn't say that. And then this one says, the number of armed forces at Unilag Gate is too much. Why, does, why don't the government deploy them to Kaduna and other states that need security? If there's a situation of armed robbery, we will not see them. <laughs> Such Finally, God's Will says, I don't know why we live in a country where we must protest for our own rights. And that's all for tonight on NC Trends. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Sean Bankali.